Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. If you have a lackluster photo with infinite focal depth and many objects in it that distract attention away from your main subject, I'll show you how to transform it into a beautiful timeless image. Go to File and Open. Locate your photo, click on it, and click Open. To fit it onto your screen, press Ctrl-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command-J. To increase the brightness and contrast, open the Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command-L. Slide the input white to the point where the histogram starts to significantly rise up. Slide the input black to the point where the histogram begins. Then click OK. To correct the overall color, invoke Auto Color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift B. To increase the overall vibrancy of the colors, click on the adjustment layer icon and choose Vibrance. Click on the Clip to Layer icon to restrict or clip the adjustment layer to just the one layer beneath it. Increase the vibrancy to taste. For this example, I'll increase it to approximately 70. Let's merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. The next step is to isolate your subject from its background. To do this, we need to ultimately make a selection around it. For this example, I'll use the pencil tool. But first, let's zoom into the subject. Press Z on your keyboard and drag a rectangle around it. Open your pencil tool. Make its size relatively small and the hardness 100%. Press F5 to open the Brush Preset panel. Make sure all the aspects in the brush tip shape area are unchecked. However, smoothing is OK. Press F5 again to close the panel. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white. If they are not, press D on your keyboard. To draw a quick mask, press Q. Now, I'll draw around the subjects, making sure there are no empty spaces in the line. Open your Paint Bucket tool and click inside the Quick Mask to fill it. Press Q to make the Quick Mask into a selection, and then invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Go to Select and Refine Edge. The Refine Edge window will open. Draw around the hair and other areas that may be wispy or feathery. Play with the Smart Radius to see if you get better results in your photo. I did an in-depth tutorial on using the Refine Edge feature. Its link is in the video description. Output it to New Layer with Layer Mask. It created a new layer and made a layer mask of the selection. Click on the eyeball of the middle layer to make it visible and click on the layer mask to make it active. Invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Click on the thumbnail of the photo next to it to make it active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Lens Blur. Lens Blur attempts to recreate the blur you would get from a real lens. In most cases, Gaussian Blur would work fine. However, Lens Blur offers you more control. Make the preview more accurate, and the source of the depth map is layer mask. The blur focal distance is zero. The iris could be any shape you'd like. The radius controls the amount of blur. The lower the number, the more in focus the background will be. Conversely, the higher the number, the blurrier it will be. For this example, I'll make the radius 23. Specular Highlights recreates a bokeh effect which blooms out the brightest areas of your photo. This works especially well in indoor photos that may have bright spots of lighting. Set the adjustments to amounts that work well for your photo. 
Next, we want to remove the blurriness in areas that are at or near the same distance as the subjects. In this photo, they include the wood planks near the groom's feet and the railing under his elbow. Click on the layer mask to make it active and open your brush tool. We'll adjust the brush size in a second. Make the hardness 0% and the opacity 50%. To increase or decrease the size of your brush, press the right or left bracket keys. Now I'll brush over the railing to reveal the focused image that's under it in the layers panel. I'll also brush over the wood planks as well. For this example, I'd like to add a subtle lens flare to one of the brightest areas in the photo, which is on her dress. First, let's make a composite snapshot of this image. Press Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Make the lens type 50 to 300 millimeter zoom and the brightness 50%. I'll drag the lens flare over a point on the dress and click OK. As I toggle back and forth, notice the difference with the lens flare added. Press Ctrl or Command 0 to see the entire photo on your screen. Let's add a soft white vignette around the edges. Open your elliptical marquee tool, click on the upper right corner of your document, and drag across an ellipse to the lower right corner. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it in a little. Click on the check mark to accept it. Click the Refine Edge button and feather it to taste. I'm feathering it approximately 108 pixels. Depending on the size and resolution of your document, you may need to adjust this number to get a similar effect. Output it as a selection. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. We'll fill it with white, and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Then delete the selection. Using these simple techniques, you can transform a drab, mundane snapshot into a gorgeous, timeless image. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.